This is a video documentation of the building of the three-masted barkentine tropic bird. Now the tropic bird was originally built in 1882 at Coos Bay, Oregon, and she was built by John Cruz, master shipbuilder. Now Coos Bay lies about halfway between San Francisco and Seattle, and this particular model was built for the great-grandson of John Cruz, Mr. John Busterud. Here we have the completed ship model of the three-masted barkentine tropic bird. Now this ship was 133 feet long and about 336 gross tons. She was built at Coos Bay, Oregon originally and sailed out of San Francisco from 1882 to 1907. Tropic Bird's primary cargo was passengers and dry goods to the South Pacific Islands, primarily Tahiti. The ship model took about 700 hours to complete. It is a plank on bulkhead construction. She's fully rigged and her sails are in the furled position, meaning that they're stowed on the yard arms on which they'd normally be used. She sports a 48 state ensign, typical of ships sailing in the early, 18, early 1900s, late 1800s. And as a three-masted barkentine, she has square rig sails on her foremast. Square rig sails just like on the clipper ships of the 1860s and 1870s. And she has schooner rig sails on the main, on the main mast and the mizzen mast. And of course up on the bowsprit she has her two flying jibs and her main jib. Now we'll come up and take a look at her bowsprit. Now we'll take a close-up look at some of the features of the Tropic Bird. Here's her enclosed cockpit, which consists of a raised quarter deck, ship's wheel, binnacle, and the ship's bell. And then as we come down onto the main deck, Two small step ladders that allow access to the main deck from the raised quarter deck. There we see one of the two main cargo hatches, which has been covered in canvas, and this is the other cargo hatch which is exposed. There we see a water cast, fresh water cast, and above the uh, forward deck house, which would house the crew and the cooks, are the two ship's lifeboats. Coming further forward, we see a small access hatch that would allow access to the cargo or to the lower decks during the voyage. And then coming up on the anchor deck, we can see the windlass, the capstan, and the two ship's anchors. Coming around the bow of the Tropic Bird, we see the Dolphin Striker and then the ornamentation along the ship's sign boards in the bow, along with some of the rigging, which holds the bowsprit in place. There's the ship's name. And now we come on to the forward deck cabin, which would house the seven and nine crew members along with the ship's cook and carpenter. Coming down the port side of the ship, now we see the main fife rail, which also supports the ship's bilge pump. Going further aft, we now come up to the raised quarter deck. And the Grand Salon skylight, as well as the rear ship's access hatch.